When you open Avid Studio, you get to a project page. Right now, I have no projects in here. I can create one by either tapping on the pause button or by tapping on an empty frame of the film strip. I can enter a name here or I can just tap OK and the name is going to default to my project. To get back to the project page from the editor screen, I need to tap the home button. So here's my project name, date, and the thumbnail is black because I have nothing in my project yet. Let's put a clip there. Now you can see that the thumbnail actually becomes useful and it helps me identify my project in the list. And there is also a duration now, which is 4.19 in this case, which means 4 seconds, 19 frames. Not fractions of a second, frames. You can also rename projects from this screen. There are two ways to do it. You can either use the rename button, or you can simply tap and hold on the project name. And let's enter something else. You can also share your projects directly from here. Use the share button and here are your sharing options. Let's get back. And of course, if you don't need your project anymore, you can always delete it with a trash can. And that's how you manage your projects with Avid Studio for iPad. Now that I've created a number of projects here, I want to point out that the list is sorted alphabetically, not by project date, but by project name. So if I rename a project, it can potentially jump to a new location depending on the project name. Let's see how it works. Let's say I want to rename, rename this project to a project. You can see that it jumps to the beginning of the list in this case. But the good thing is that I don't lose sight of my project because this li the list is scrolled and I can see my project.